The process is controlled by a PC via MATLAB. Behind the PC you can see the control console. With the help of the control console we can monitor the temperatures or we can control the feed, the, the boiler and the reflux. Next we can see the standing processing unit. We will go through each component one by one. So, on the bottom of the unit uh, we can find the reboiler. Above the reboiler we can find the feed pump. Uh, above the feed pump, uh, the above the feed pump we find the distillation coolant. The bottom part is called the stripping part. The top part of it is called the enriching part. Above the distillation coolant is the condenser. After the condenser, uh, the distillate is either led back uh, to the distillation coolant via the reflux or it is uh, collected in the product tank. Now you can see the bottom uh, tank. Uh, here we collect the rest from the reboiler. So how we get the distillation coolant to work? The first step is to open the window. Next we turn on the trip switches under the PC and we turn on the PC itself. Then we turn on the control console and push the reflux control, the boiler heater and feed pump. As you can see, the little green lights indicate it's on. Now we will check the liquid level in the reboiler and if it's below that black mark, we have to fill it up. The fourth step is to open the valve below the sink. Then we turn on the BR PLC. Uh, so we open the box above the sink and there is a red switch. Next we will have to insert the tube to the mixture. We will have to process what we want to process. And uh, after this is done, we have to insert the tube to the peristaltic pump. The peristaltic pump uses the formation to transfer the liquid. Next we open MATLAB. As you can see it's a 64-bit version and we open the following path which can be seen on the screen right now. And after we're done with this we have to run the MPC colonna init dot m file after we run this m file matlab will generate all the basic variables which are re required to uh, start up the distillation coulomb we can start a scheme here we have to turn the control on by clicking on this box and set the value to 1. And now uh, we can open state flow and here you can see the different stages of the distillation coulomb. The first step is the heating process and after the process uh, heats 60 degrees on the T8 uh, temperature sensor it will move to the next stage and this will go on and on until it reaches the step before the last one and at that point uh, the distillation coulomb will be ready for a controller and thus it goes to the next stage As you can see, it did switch to the next stage and you can hear the peristaltic pump now. And I will show you the tubes, how the liquid is being transferred. You can see the liquid moving in the tube. As I've told you earlier, this is done by the deformation of the tube. 
I will show you the distillation coolant. Behind the insulation you can see the liquid uh, flowing down the coulomb and after a little while uh, you will see bubbling on the sieve plates there are eight of them and uh, this bubbling is the vapor is being washed by the liquid you can see the feeder which separates the enriching and the stripping part and now you can see the product tank as you can see it is uh, dripping down slowly and now we are back in state flow as you can see the coulomb reached the last, step, last stage before the controller I will include some uh, slow motion shots as you can see the process and the vapor is being washed by the liquid and in the end you will find a graph which shows how the distillation coolant does stabilize itself over time.